Greetings and welcome to Yarnspirations.com. I'm Mary Beth Temple from Hooked for Life, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Little Leaf Crochet Play Mat and Ladybug Toy. While we're chatting, please consider clicking the subscribe button in the red box below in the description to get first notification of wonderful knit, crochet, and other yarn craft videos that pop up here every single week. To make this project, you're going to need Bernat Blanket Brights in the main color, which is the Go Go Green, and the contrast colors are Race Car Red and Coal. You're going to need a size US K 10 and a half or six and a half millimeter crochet hook or size needed to obtain gauge. And I will say that gauge is not critical in this pattern. You wanna be comfortable using the blanket yarn, which is pretty thick. So just grab a hook that makes you feel comfortable. You're going to need two sew on googly eyes that are one inch in diameter or two and a half centimeters for our little ladybug friend right here. And I recommend, but it's not mandatory, that if you have some black yarn in a lighter weight that you can use for sewing up, that comes in handy too, but it's not a deal breaker. Anyway, this is super simple to stitch. There is nothing complicated going on here, but we're gonna look at just a couple of little tips to make creating it easier. Taking a look at the diagram for the leaf mat itself, you can see that there's your uh, chain four in the beginning and your chain three, and then your double crochets in the ring. And then the first 11 rounds are simply to have the circle grow from the center out. So don't think that you're messing up the shape until you get that 11th round completed. It's a big giant circle. You're not going to see the leaf shape until you get to rounds 12 and 13 and 14. So 12, 13, and 14 are here. You can see we have some single crochets followed by some half doubles and double, double, double. Got some treble action going on down here. And you can follow along both in the diagram and with the written instructions. But this uh, last, so you've got up to round 14. And then these last two rounds that you see are the diagram are the border. Here's round one of the border and round two of the border. And as you can see, you start up here at the tip. So circle, 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 rounds 12, 13, 14, follow the diagram or the text, and then you're gonna put that border on, and then this section is completed. And again, I'm not doing it on camera because it is very, very simple stitching. I just wanted to give you a little heads up in case you get to round eight and go, hey, that doesn't look like a leaf. It's not supposed to yet. You're doing just fine. Now let's have a little refresher on reverse single crochet also known as crab stitch. Now you're going to single crochet like you always do. Insert your hook in the stitch and bring up a loop and then yarn over, draw through two. But instead of working to right to left, as you do if you're right-handed, you're going to keep your hook oriented as if you were working right to left, but you're actually um, attacking the stitches from left to right. Um, now, when you do this on the pattern, you're going to do this in the black color, but I thought it would be kind of difficult to see on camera, so I'm doing it in the green. So insert the hook front to back, yarn over and pull it up. You have two, yarn over, pull through two. Now go to the stitch before the one you just worked in. But once again, if you can see, my hook is oriented as if I was going right to left. So in the stitch before, yarn over and pull it up yarn over, pull through two. So you're making single crochets and you're making them one at a time. It's the order that you're placing them. That's a little different, but this stitch is very simple to master and it makes this nice corded edging. For the leaf veins, the instructions tell you to make a chain with two strands of B held together, uh, the entire length of the leaf so that will go here from side to side. And then to make some additional ones of varying lengths to put them to be the veins of the leaf. Now to make life easier, what I did when I made my chain, I began with a fold of the yarn and then yarned over with two. And I did that as I kept going and chain, uh, two, again, two together, but just chain, 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 chain. I did that so that I wouldn't have an end on this side because sometimes ends are kind of hard to hide 
when you have a chain, it's really difficult to find some place to sew those ends into. For the other ends, for the cut ends, what I did is I pulled them through to the back of the work and I'll weave them in later like a regular end that I would have had from changing skeins of yarn. In addition to sew them together, uh, Blanket is a wonderful, squishy, soft yarn and is perfect for this play mat, except boy, it can be a little difficult to sew with because it's so thick. So what I did is I grabbed just a couple of feet of, uh, this is Burnett Super Value, but I just reached into the closet. You know we all hoard yarn. So I just reached in and grabbed something a little thinner to sew with. And again, I, I just put the end in like I was weaving an end. And now all I'm going to do is sew through the back bump of the chain, but I'm gonna do it with this worsted yarn because it's just gonna be so much faster. And again, when I get to the other side and there is a cut end of this to deal with, all I'm gonna do is take it through to the back and weave it in like I would any other end. And this way you can uh, put the veins wherever you want them. You can sew them straight, you can put a little curve in them and tighten that up a little bit. And this will be much simpler to do than stitching it on with the blanket. And it will be nice and sturdy too. Because of course we don't want any parts falling off. So that is how you sew the leaf veins into place. Next, we're going to look at the ladybugs. Now we have the ladybug head and the ladybug body and the little spots for the ladybug all here in diagram. And of course we have the ladybug body in text too. So to make the ladybug, here is our top. So we're gonna make one in the red color and one in the black color. Now when we join the top and bottom of the ladybug body, we're going to make the legs at the same time. So let's take a look and see how that looks. Let me grab some yarn here. So you're going to put the uh, right side of the work is towards you and the wrong sides of the work are towards each other. So here's my wrong side of the one color and here is my wrong side of the other color and I'm gonna put them together. So we're going to join with a slip stitch through both thicknesses and that's a lot of thickness. <laughs> but you want to make sure that you get two legs of a stitch on one side and then two legs of the stitch on the other side. You're joining through all four. So we're going to uh, slip stitch to get it all joined. Chain one, single crochet in each of next six stitches. So I'm going to put one in that round join to get started. One, I know it's a little difficult to see in the black. Two. Three. Whoops, there we go. Four. Five. Six. You're going to chain four and do that nice and loosely because you're going to work in those chains. One, two, three, four. Single crochet and second chain from hook. So one, two, three, four. We're going to skip that one and go in here. You know if you've been watching these videos that I like to work in the back or the bump of the chain, but honestly in blanket, I don't think it makes a whole difference, particularly in black because you can't really see it. And then one single crochet in each of next two chains. One. Two. And there's my little ladybug leg. Here, that's easier to see. And then we're going to single crochet in each of next four single crochet. And when we do that, remember we're back to working through both thicknesses, one. two, three, four. And 
And I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to chain four again, nice and loose. One, two, three, four. Sec single crochet and second chain from hook. One, and then in each of next two. Whoops. <laughs> Trying too hard. One, two, and there's my second little leg. So I'm going to keep following the instructions either on the text, I'm on the top of the third page, or you can see it here on the diagram. We were here, did the second leg, did the third leg, and then we're going to have a nice long group of single crochets till we put the next three legs on. But when you've done that joining round, your legs are done all at the same time. And then you can just follow along doing the spots and the ladybug head and you will sew those on as seen in the picture. Here's our little guy. And then at the very end, of course, you can sew on the little googly eyes, which makes it just so completely adorable. And you can sew a chain on there the same way that we did it on the leaf. So I hope you had a wonderful time learning all these little bits and bobs to make the little leaf crochet play mat and ladybug toy. Um, thank you for joining us here on Yarnspirations.com. I'm Mary Beth Temple for Hooked for Life. Please give us a subscribe by clicking on the red button in the description box below. And we look forward to seeing you every week for brand new tutorials in crochet and knitting and other yarny crafts. Bye-bye.